I'm uh, Jim Drake. I'm Chief of Pediatric Neurosurgery here at the Hospital for Sick Children. It always affects us uh, in the heart when we hear a very sad story about a patient uh, outside of Canada who cannot get the treatment that they really need. So she's a 10-year-old girl from El Salvador and her name is Jimena Flores and she uh, has a seizure disorder and a brain tumor. She said seizures all her life and they've really made a negative impact on her quality of life. The problem was this was a uh, very eloquent part of her brain and so we suspected that the tumor was very near to her speech center. So we needed to understand uh, from her uh, exactly where were her seizures coming from, what was the relationship between the tumor and her uh, speech center, and what were the chances of stopping her seizures and curing her of the brain tumor if we were to do an operation. So she was quite a complicated patient. We did a functional MRI scan in Spanish, so normally we do these in English, but we got an interpreter for her. We asked her questions uh, to, uh, in terms of speech, repeat this after me, name as many animals starting with A as you can think of, things like that. That showed us that the brain uh, speech center was just in front of this tumor, so it was right beside it. If she were to have uh, an operation, there had to be done extremely carefully in, in order to pre preserve her speech function. In patients uh, like this, when we're very concerned about the, where the speech center is, uh, we like to do the patients awake if at all possible. They're not actually awake for the whole operation, they're just awake for a small part of it, but nevertheless they are awake enough to talk to us and repeat, again repeat after uh, the anesthetist. We uh, got one of our um, Spanish uh, anesthesia fellows, his name is Gaston E. Chanitz, and he was excellent with her, so he spoke to her uh, in Spanish, he was very reassuring to her. He was asking her these questions. We were able to move the whole, remove the whole tumor. She didn't suffer any neurological impairment. Uh, her family assures us that her Spanish is just as good as it was before the operation. And um, as far as we know, she's had no further seizures. The Herbie Fund at Sick Kids allows children from around the world to get the surgical procedures that they need that they cannot get locally. These children will be denied the treatment that they need and many of these children who can be cured of their problems and lead normal lives, this would not happen for them.